Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video, I wanna give you guys an update. What is happening with Bitcoin right now? And of course, the entire crypto market and where is, okay, where is Bitcoin's next cycle top going to be? That is exactly what I wanna talk about for today's video. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet ready. That is always appreciated. And let's begin with today's video. So right now, Bitcoin holding strong at $42.7 thousand dollars. It's still continuing to consolidate, guys, right? We have been seeing Bitcoin for almost pretty much two weeks now, right? Consolidating in between, you know, $43,000 and $42K, right? You guys can just clearly see Bitcoin is, in fact, continuing to have sideway movements just last night. Okay, just last night, okay, uh, we actually saw Bitcoin around $43,000, around $43,400 actually, right? And ever since then, okay, Bitcoin did in fact have a drop back down to $42,000. So you guys can just clearly see, right, for pretty much, I want to say, coming up to two weeks, okay, you guys can just clearly see that Bitcoin, okay, has in fact been consolidating in between, you know, forty three. To forty-two thousand dollars. So right now, okay, Bitcoin is still holding, you know, pretty strong, right? Now the entire crypto market today, okay, is not really moving, right? The global crypto market is still sitting at one point six four trillion. You know, it's still above one point six trillion. And overall, the market today is down slightly. Ah, uh, sorry, up slightly, uh, 024 percent, right? So not much movements, you know, for the past twenty-four hours for Bitcoin, even for Ethereum. Right, and many more other old coins, right? We saw Chainlink actually pumping yesterday. Today is actually up 1%, right? But a fair few old coins are not really moving. Okay, Polygon, you know, up 1.8%, almost 2% for the past 24 hours. Um, and yes, Uniswap, 2%. So, you know, majority of old coins okay, are not really moving today. Okay, some of them are in fact in the greens. Let's just have a look here. Okay, so it's like half and half. Okay, so majority of them are actually in the greens, but some of them are in fact in the reds. Okay, you guys can please see that. So not much movements that is happening today for the crypto market. Um, and surprisingly, right, the Fin Greed Index is still holding strong in greed mode, right? 64. So it seems like people out there, right, that are in fact in Bitcoin and crypto in general, right? Investors are in fact feeling greed. Okay, even though, yes, Bitcoin is not really moving, the entire crypto market hasn't really been moving as well, even though, yes, we've seen Bitcoin, you know, having a fair few pumps every now and then, even old coins, right? A fair few old coins are absolutely skyrocketing. We know that, right? We've seen Solana pumping, right? We have seen uh, Chainlink also pumping as well, having a breakout. Um, so yes, the Fingreed Index is still holding strong in greed mode. You guys can see right now, yes, it's in greed. Yesterday, greed. Last week, greed. Last month, it was in fact in greed as well. So that's great to see. Okay, that is pretty bullish, right? It really, really is. So let's get into these Bitcoin news. Okay, well, it's not really news, but it's a little update on what's happening with a lot of these institutions. Okay, they are buying. Okay, especially the big guys, right? BlackRock and Fidelity, they are in fact buying okay so blackrock and fidelity they own a combined 134,350,700 bitcoins worth 5.7 billion dollars for the you know spot bitcoin etfs okay so i mentioned this a fair few times okay blackrock okay they are buying and they are accumulating into bitcoin every single day okay they are buying literally thousands of bitcoins pretty much every single day Right, and they are ha they have not stopped, right? Same with Fidelity. Okay, so it's crazy, right? BlackRock and Fidelity, okay, combined they have you know over a hundred k, right, worth of bitcoins. They own over a hundred thousand bitcoins worth you know close to six billion dollars, which is absolutely insane, guys. And this is obviously you know very very bullish. Okay, so it seems like okay. BlackRock, they want to take in Bitcoins, okay, and many more other institutions, right? So this is a great example, guys, of accumulate, okay, into Bitcoin and hold for long term, right? Because there's just not going to be many available, right, left for Bitcoin. We know Bitcoin has a supply limit, 21 million Bitcoins, and there's clearly just not enough, you know, Bitcoins to go around. So if you're watching this video right now and you own, you know, one Bitcoin, simply just one bitcoin you are blessed hold that bitcoin long term right because understand 
there's just not enough you know bitcoins okay to go around for everyone to own a whole coin so that's that right so this is obviously you know very very bullish okay but yes let's get into these bitcoin charts and i already talked about this um in last night's video actually right my most previous video that yes bitcoin okay we know hasn't really been moving it's been in between you know 42 to 43 thousand dollars and just recently it did in fact have a breakout and this is very you know bullish but understand guys we like no one actually really knows where bitcoin is heading you know short term in the next like few days few weeks right we don't know where bitcoin is heading okay a lot of people out there you know bitcoin's gonna have a pump okay that's what you know a fair few people are in fact saying and a fair few people are in fact saying that bitcoin's gonna have a correction back down to the downside right and personally i really do believe bitcoin's gonna have a correction down to the downside right potentially back down to 40 to even below forty thousand dollars and then after that you know small correction down to the downside it's gonna you know bounce back up okay it's just gonna be ups from there because we know the bitcoin halving event is obviously you know just around right around the corner right it's going to happen sometime april this year right so that's obviously very bullish we know that right every single time we have the bitcoin halving event this is when bitcoin tends to pump the most okay and this is when the real bull run begins not just for bitcoin but also old coins right we know old season is obviously right around the corner as well right so understand guys the entire crypto market in the next i want to say three to six months is going to absolutely skyrocket but short term okay you know, Bitcoin could potentially have a drop, and that means old coins are going to have a drop, right? The entire crypto market is going to have a drop, potentially, right? One last correction down to the downside before a massive pump up to the upside. So that's that, right? That's just my personal thoughts. You know, I've talked about this a fair few times. I even made a whole separate video talking about, you know, the next upcoming massive Bitcoin crash. So if you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. I uploaded it like last week. Um, so that's that. Uh, but yeah, that's just personally my opinion. You guys let me know in the comments down below what is your personal thoughts on where you guys see Bitcoin heading, you know, short term in the next couple of days and of course few weeks because something has to happen, right? We know Bitcoin has been consolidating for the longest time now, coming up to like two weeks, okay? So it has to do something, whether it's going to pump or a dump, right? So you guys let me know your personal thoughts where you guys see Bitcoin heading. Um, but yes, understand guys, okay? understand where we have this bull run okay bitcoin does have those days and weeks where it does in fact drop a lot okay this is completely normal guys so what happened back in you know 2017 right so this chart right here okay it's just showing you guys what happened to bitcoin right back in 2017 where we we're in fact having a bull run right you guys can just clearly see that right and when bitcoin was in fact having this massive bull run we had days okay where we where we saw bitcoin down you know 38 percent okay 33 percent 36 percent 29 percent right in a single day so understand this is completely normal right so understand guys you know when bitcoin is having these pumps and when the bull run does officially happen right and we see bitcoin absolutely skyrocketing forming a uptrend just like what this chart is showing right it's going to be very very similar to what we're going to see in the next you know bull cycle understand we're going to get days where bitcoin's going to drop you know 30 percent in a day right or potentially you know 20 percent right or even over 30 percent right it's normal okay and i must say okay this is completely normal you know i know how it is guys yes it's scary but understand okay you should just take that as an opportunity to buy a bit more right so that's that okay understand this is completely normal for us to see bitcoin you know down 30 percent in a single day over 30 percent right while we are in fact in a bull run it's completely normal so understand guys this year 2004 when we have a bull run okay and bitcoin drops 30 percent do not be fearful right because we are in fact in a bull run we're in a bull market so it's going to keep going up right but you just got to know when to take your profits and whatnot right um and of course next year in 2025 especially because you know throughout 2025 that's going to be you know when we are for sure going to be in a bull market right so yes you know, when we are in fact in a bull run, just understand we're going to get days where Bitcoin's going to be dropping, you know, 20% in a single day, even 30% in a single day, right? But do not be scared. Do not be fearful. This is completely normal, okay? It really, really is. So moving on, this is the last Bitcoin chart that I want to, you know, wanted to show you guys for today's video. And it's just showing here, okay, that Bitcoin's, you know, insane cycle top, 340,000 
dollars. Let me repeat that: three hundred and forty thousand dollars per Bitcoin, potentially in the in this next cycle, right? This next bull cycle. Now, if you guys have in fact been watching my videos, I keep repeating myself, and I'm I'm gonna say it again. Okay, I'm gonna say it here. Bitcoin, okay, is simply going to reach back up to its previous all-time highs. You know, that's easily going to happen. It's easily going to reach back up to 69K, right, its previous high. And then it's going to reach a new high. And I really do believe sometime this year, in 2024, most likely end of this year, in 2024, we're going to see Bitcoin at least at 100K. At least. Mark my words on that, right? And then, okay, after that, Bitcoin's going to go to 120 to 150. I think that's easily going to happen for Bitcoin, right? 200K. Okay, that is possible. Sometime in 2025, next year, we're going to see Bitcoin at $200,000. Okay, and yes, 250K, I told you guys many times, that is very, very possible. You know, 300K is possible as well. So $340,000, okay, you know, Bitcoin's next cycle top. That is actually crazy, okay? But understand, guys, this is possible, right? This is very, very possible. Let me just give you guys an, an example, right? Now, let's just go to the one year or the all time chart. You guys can clearly see, right, back in 2017, okay, you know, May of 2017, Bitcoin was at around, you know, $1.7 to $2,000. You guys can just clearly see that, right? And towards the end of, you know, 2017, it went all the way up to $17,000. You know, when Bitcoin was all the way down here, around, you know, $2,000 to even $1,000 early of 2017, no one knew Bitcoin was going to shoot all the way up to 16 k to like, 19k to 17k right close to 20k right same goes with here in 2020 right when bitcoin was at nine thousand dollars you know people thought right bitcoin will never go back up to its previous all-time highs like what it did in 2017 but guess what okay it it went beyond that okay it went all the way up over sixty thousand dollars sixty three thousand dollars right so i understand guys you always got to think like a crazy price for bitcoin every single time guys we enter okay um, a new bull market, Bitcoin always reaches a new all-time high. Okay, and that new all-time high, that price is going to be insane. So I think three hundred forty thousand dollars. You know, it's possible to us for us to see Bitcoin at three hundred k or even over three hundred k. It's possible, guys. You may think right now it's impossible, but it's potentially possible, right? You guys understand this next upcoming bull run that's coming right now for Bitcoin is going to be completely different compared to all these other you know bull runs that we've been seeing in bitcoin history this one that's coming up is going to be completely different a lot of money is going to be poured into bitcoin guys right so be prepared for that for all my bitcoin holders out there that's watching this video right now prepare yourselves okay for what's coming for bitcoin not just for bitcoin but also altcoins right the entire crypto market is going to absolutely skyrocket so get ready for that you guys okay let me know your thoughts as well you know if you think bitcoin has a potential to reach three hundred and forty thousand dollars just like what this chart is showing i think it's possible you guys let me know what what's your personal thoughts on this so that's that but guys that is pretty much it for today's video hope you guys all enjoyed it give thumbs up subscribe to the channel that is always appreciated and i catch you guys all in my next video have a good one guys